My next guest has got a new opponent going to be taking on Trevor Peak at UFC Fight Night, February 25th. It's Eric Ghost Pepper Gonzalez back here on the program. Eric, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. It's been uh, quite the hectic week and weekend, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, and we were kind of saying off air, good timing, because we obviously scheduled this for today, and we find out yesterday you have a new opponent. Tell me what happened. So your opponent was injured, or what's the deal there? What happened? You're, uh, Darius Flowers is who you're supposed to fight. Yeah, uh, you know what? I didn't get any answer. I mean, I didn't. You know, I asked my manager, but he didn't say. They kind of just pulled him. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I just saw everything that I saw on social media, and that was pretty much it. So I didn't really get a, a response out of why he got pulled out. Mm -hmm. But luckily, you know, um, Trevor Peaks, uh, my new opponent, uh, opponent, his guy pulled out. So it kind of just worked out. We're both on the same fight card anyways. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather fight a guy on a full camp than a guy on a short notice because then, you know, no excuses. Yeah, exactly. No, no, that, that's a good point. And, and when, when they tell you Trevor Peak, uh, did you have to look him up or did you were you familiar with him already? No, I had to look him up. Um, I know he's undefeated and I looked him up his record and everything. So a lot of first round finishes, um, you know, so it's uh he brings a lot to the table and, you know, it's a, uh, I'm hoping to put a dink on that undefeated record. Yeah. And that's always exciting when you can fight someone like that. Um, we haven't seen you since August. Uh, was this by design? Uh, was this the right amount of time off or were you trying to get a fight uh, before this? Uh, no, man. Uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, whenever they call me, they call me. Uh, I'm always okay. looking for a fight. Uh, I was getting ready regardless. I was ready for January if it was needed. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. I'm here now. And, uh, I just gotta get this, I'm going to get this win and I want to at least get three more fights this year. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? It's not, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. You know, you got to take your time when it comes to your career. You're always learning, right? So you can always use that yeah. time to, to sharpen the iron, so to speak. Um, it's never fun to talk about a loss here, but we got to quickly mention that fight with Terrence McKinney. <laughs> what did, what did yeah. you take away the most from that, man? Because honestly, you do learn more from a loss, I'm sure, than a win. So what, what were some of the, the big lessons from that fight? Uh, you know, um, I think I just should be a little bit more patient. And then when it came to the grappling, you know, it kind of just... Uh, it was kind of like a blank out for me. Um, mm -hmm. It's never happened. That was the first time it ever happened. I kind of just blanked out. I went for a scramble that I shouldn't have gone for. It made a small mistake, and it cost me the fight. Uh, but, you know, I did learn a lot from it. Just be more patient, listen to my co my coaches a little bit more, um, you know, because I, I had him on I had him on his, uh, on his the wobbly legs, and I could have finished him and uh, didn't didn't focus in on the on the kill. So, you know, it, it is what it is, it, and uh, – uh, you know, look going into this next fight as well. You know, I'm fighting coming off two big, uh, two big fights. In my opinion, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier in my opinion now that everything kind of like anxiousness and all that kind of stuff went away. Uh, and on top of uh, this new, this new stuff that I added to my camp, which is, uh, has helped me enormous, uh, a lot. Yeah, and I should, should mention to our audience that we, we did lose your video for a bit there, so that's why we got the photo up, but I can hear you perfectly fine. Uh, just one last thing from that last fight. Um, how are his fans on social media? Because he's obviously like a pretty notable guy on social media. Uh, did you get any backlash, or how were the fans after that fight? Um, You know what, man? Uh, it wasn't too much backlash. There's always going to be some, you know, some crazy people out there that are going to send you some weird messages, but in my opinion, uh, the the you know, they weren't bad at all. Um, oh, good, okay. So it, it's, I think that, I think it was, uh, it was worse after the Jim Miller this time around. It wasn't cause me and Terrence are pretty cool. You mm -hmm. know, we, uh, we follow each other on social media as well. And, uh, we keep in contact, you know, randomly here and here. So he's a very good guy at heart, man. And he's an awesome dude. And, uh, you know, outside of the cage, you know, uh, whatever, you know, whatever we went to our fight, he won. It is what it is. And, uh, onto the next one, but he's cool as fuck, man. Me, me and him are really cool. And I'm, I wouldn't have to wish nothing but the best for him. I know he just come, he's coming off a very tough loss. You know, and uh, I hope yeah, and, and it sounds like he's going, he's getting his good grace. It sounds like uh, he's back on his uh, his men, his uh, positive side. So and it really it really never left. So, yeah, no, for sure. And I'm glad you pointed that out about Terrence. Obviously, I'm not talking about him at all because he's he's a good dude. It's just, you know, how fans can be every fan base. They've got some passionate, uh, you know, fans that can be, uh, you know, they can be crappy sometimes. I see it, too. So it's all good. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about uh, Trevor Peak here, uh, your opponent. Um, obviously, uh, we mentioned it there undefeated. Uh, now that you've had a chance to kind of look him up. How do you feel like you match up against him here? You know, he reminds me a lot of Darius. He's just uh, not as he's fighting on his natural weight class though. So it's going to be a guy that's not going to be as strong in my opinion. I thought Darius is going to, is going to have a tough weight cut because he was coming off 170, 185 majority of all of his career. Uh, so, you know, 15 extra pounds is not easy. Uh, but Trevor Peak, you know, he's fighting on his natural weight class. He's the same height, about the same reach, uh, rushes in kind of like Darius. So I'm not looking at much of a different style of, uh, of uh, as far as a fighter in my opinion. 
so my game plan is pretty much just staying the same. And, uh, you know, we'll, we got some stuff that we're adding onto it, considering that he's a little bit of a, of a different, just kind of like his striking is a little bit different. And he's a, he's a bulldozer when he comes right off the first round. So that's just pretty much really the only thing I really got to look out for. I think that my grappling and my striking is better, but, uh, you know, we'll, when the time comes, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll do what we got to do and we're going to get the win. Uh, training camp, who have been some of the main guys helping you get ready for this one? Uh, this, this camp around, man, you know, normally I'm with fight science, I uh, just actually added a new gym, which I'm over at CMMA, and I'm with Chad George, Josh Barnett, and uh, David Waters for my wrestling. So a lot of new stuff that I've added. I've also had a mental coach now uh, that I'm working with, and uh, kind of just been on like a – this camp has been – because I, I have all the tools, man, as a fighter. Uh, you know, I don't doubt my abilities. I know I'm one of the best. That's the reason I'm fighting in the UFC. But uh, – you know, uh, I added a mental coach, and that helped me enormously in in as far as getting my my brain ready for for you know for a fight and getting my head straight. So I'm in a better place, and I'm in a in a, a more calm place in my head. So I'm I think I'm I'm very confident in my abilities now. I'm very confident that I'm going to win, and uh, I think that'd be the biggest change. You know, getting my head mentally right for the for this type of scene. It's very special when you're in the UFC. It's awesome to hear. So, so with the new gym, uh, does, does that impact your corner? Who's going to be in the cage with you on February twenty fifth? Uh, my corners are going to be Chad George and then uh, one of my teammates, uh, a couple of my teammates, and uh, that's pretty much it. But it's going to be so Marcos, Taco, and then uh, Chad George, which is the head of uh, CMMA currently. Yeah, great gym, great coaches. Uh, how's this fight playing out on the twenty fifth? You're a guy that does not like getting paid by the hour. I know you go in there, you go for the finish. Uh, how do you expect this one to play out? Uh, you know, I expect to finish full blast if you have a ground and pound TKO. Um, that's pretty much how I see it going down. You know, if, uh, if I happen to catch him on the feet, I don't like to emphasize knockouts anymore. I don't want to focus on a knockout. If it happens, it happens. It's usually how the fight game goes anyways. You know, anything can clip you and just not fall, fold you over. So to me, you know, I really want to just, just take advantage of that ground game. And I think I'm just going to be a more dominant fighter down there. So we'll see how, we'll see what happens. Um, Big fight at the top of your division last weekend. We just had Islam and Volkanovski go toe-to-toe. Great fight. Loved it. Two questions on that. First one, just your reaction to the fight. What did you think of it? And two, how did you score it? Because some people felt like maybe Volkanovski did enough for the win. Uh, you know, amazing fight. Uh, I was surprised that uh, Islam wasn't able to uh, <laughs> bulldoze him the way I thought he was going to. Uh, so it says a lot about Volkanovski. And I thought, uh, I, I didn't think that Volk won. I thought Islam won. Uh, that's just, you know, and I know there's a lot of back and forth people saying that. I didn't think it was a unanimous decision. I thought it was more of a split decision, but you know, uh, you know, both proved it, man. And I think, what'd you get up to for Valentine's day? Uh, for me, I didn't do much, man. I kind of just, uh, I, I did a lot of, uh, I did, I just was training for my camp. The fiance worked all day. I went for a run on the beach with my dog and then, uh, you know, the fiance came home, watched some TV, and that's pretty much it. Nothing. That's nothing the crazy. best, gonna... man. I think it's overrated. The dinner reservations, all that. You got to be like three months in advance to get dinner reservations. I, I cooked some steaks for my wife uh, last night. That's that's the way to go. Not just any steak. Grass fed, the good steaks. You know, that's better yeah. than going out for a night of dinner because you get you know you get more value that way, right? So. Oh, absolutely. I, I got some. I got my fiance some flowers and in, uh, in like this little like kind of a it's a rose inside of a water. So it's pretty. There cool. you go. Look, look at that. See, I didn't That's even do that. I just I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get a good meal. I figure you know give you know the way to the, the way to uh, you know everyone's heart is is through their stomach, right? As they say. So you gotta gotta go that way. But that makes sense. And uh, before we get out of here, man, what are you gaming right now? Obviously, you got the cool setup here. Um, what, what games are you getting into right now? Uh, I play uh, Escape from Tarkov. That's pretty much the only game I play nowadays. And Rust, okay. two of the uh, major games that I play. A lot of it's survival games. Uh, really fun. Awesome. That's pretty much what I get into, though. Good stuff. Eric, thanks so much for doing this, man. Always a pleasure. If there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, you know, Icon uh, Meal Preps from uh, the P, uh, the UFC PI, man. Shout out to those people, man. They're doing a great job. They've been giving me meal preps. Uh, same with my management team. Upgrade for, you know, making it happen for me again. Uh, and also with my new camp, you know, with CMMA, Chad George, Josh Barnett, David Waters. They, this, this team has been amazing, man. The guys in the room, it's, it's been spectacular. Probably what it's, it's some of the best uh, work I've gotten. Been getting my ass kicked every single time I go in there. And, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way in the training room. So to me, I'm just c- consistently learning. And, uh, yeah, man, 
says a shout out to my uh, fiance, my mom, and you know everybody that supports me. I appreciate you guys.